In this movie, we're going to talk about dimensions versus metrics. It's a kind of database concept that you're going to have to get familiar with very quickly. The best way to describe a dimension is something that's a description field. It's not quite a measurement field that tells you how much or what percentage, but kind of like an east division versus a west division. Go ahead and click on View and scroll down to a choice called Field Explorer. Of course, if your window's already up, you don't need to do this step. This is my Field Explorer window, and what I want to do is collapse the database fields and collapse the revenue transaction table. Dimensions versus metrics has a lot to do with what type of field it is. For example, revenue amount is a number. We can add it, subtract it, make a percentage out of it. Whereas if I go up to Office and I choose Office Name, well, Office Name is a Charlotte. And you could ask me, what is Charlotte plus Arizona? Well, mathematically, into the database and your computer, it's nothing. It's just a string that tells you where, what. The same goes for division. Technically, you can't add the characters west and the characters east together and arrive at any sort of meaningful conclusion. However, you can add the revenue from the east division and the west division and come up with something that actually means something. It's an actual measure. The easiest way, as a rule of thumb, if we don't want to get into the boring technical details, is a dimension is more text-based, even though it can be also be a date. For example, when. It's kind of, again, describing it, the who, what, when, if you will. Whereas metrics would be numbers. Now, I also realize that dimension can also be numbers. I mean, I could have an office number, but, you know, if I add office 20 plus office 36, knowing that that is 56, doesn't really help me. So it's just depending on the intended use of the field in the database. Obviously, revenue amount was meant to track revenue. Refund amount was meant to track refunds. But the dimensions, the office number, the office names, were meant to tell you what or when or who, even. We delved on this in a little bit. Let's go ahead and close this window when we looked at our summary functions. Now, if we go ahead and select this summary of office name, which is count of office name, when we edit the summary, we see what our choices are. And I say cancel. Now if I go to the revenue amount, and I edit my summary, all of a sudden I get a lot more choices. Simply put, you can do a lot more with numbers, things you can add, subtract, multiply, etc. together, than you can with text items. If you take west times east, you don't really get an actual product a computer can compute and calculate. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Essentially, it's very simple. As a rule of thumb, if they're numbers and they're not meant to identify, you can add them, subtract them, and you can consider them a metric. If they're text or a date, you can consider them a dimension, something that tells you when, what, who. The how or why, of course, is kind of ethereal and kind of up in the air. If you're into philosophy, I think probably a worthwhile exercise.